from the beginning, the Lord had an invention called sowing that would bring a man into the image of God consistently, that the man's soul will be woken up to a, a whole list of ideas that pleasure God. It's very amazing when the sowing anointing sits on a person because the person learns everything that they should avoid, everything that God didn't build them to engage. And so there is a wisdom that starts off with sowing, but it has to continue only if you sow yourself. So God will give you a sowing anointing but you have to keep on sowing yourself to hear more wisdom, more discernment. That's why you could sow seed and be blind to who the devil is in in your life. You could be blind to who is full of evil spirits. You could be blind. You could be completely ignorant of what God is grieved about in your life, even though you sow in seed. Because after you you sow seed, you got to keep on sowing yourself. That's the next stage. After you sow money, you have to sow you so that God can remove the blanket and the veil that's over your eyes in other areas. You don't have one department of your life. You have several departments of your life. You have a department of your life for relationships. You have a department of your life for your sex, your sexuality. You have a department of your life for your finances. You got a department of your life for your thoughts, your emotions, because the emotional place, it can take a toll on you. If you are not focused, the emotions could take you places that you're not supposed to go. So you have an emotional part of your life. Then you have a health department of your life. That's why I talked to you about working out and doing all those different things. These are all departments of your life that God gives you wisdom. But just think about it. How do I bring your attention to working out? And we preach in the gospel. I'm bringing your attention there because I'm a sower. So I, I, I and, and not only I'm a sower of money, I'm a sower of self. So my brain is able to tap into other departments of the life that honors God. Honoring God is not only with money. Honoring God is a reverential fear towards him. You respect him in all your ways. So let me give you an example. You can honor God if he doesn't want Tyrone to visit your house. And you refuse to let Tyrone in the house. Now you're honoring God. Honoring God means that you're in a place of sowing. But what are you sowing? You are sowing yourself. You are sowing your brain into the will of God. So when you are dealing with that department of sowing, you are learning how to invite the Lord into situations, how to invite the Lord and receive his help, receive his power, receive his discernment about things. If you are sowing yourself all the time, you will recognize how hurt you leave the Holy Spirit with what you pursue. Just think about how the Holy Ghost looks at you when he sees you worrying. What is going on with the Holy Ghost when he sees you in fear? Imagine an all-powerful God right with you and watching you fearful, watching you nervous, watching you panic is not a good experience for the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost looks at that and sees somebody that doesn't know who he is. And despite the revelation he exercises to their soul, they are still rejectors of the truth. So you have to catch there's a lot of moments in life where the Spirit of God is going to sit back and see if you're going to choose to sow yourself. He's not going to make you do it. And most people become dead. You become dead. Many 
people, after some time, you sow money and you're the dead person walking on the earth because you have no sowing of your brain into God to find out what he is looking for in a moment. You're not looking for the instruction of God. Promotion can kill you because when God starts lifting you up as you honor him, it's easy for you to start dishonoring him because your soul returns back to death. Your soul returns back to death. Don't, don't let your soul return back to dishonor after you have honored God. Do not let other areas of your life go undone. Commit yourself unto the Lord. Commit your ways unto him. In 24 hours, God wants to use you every day. Pay attention. Open your eyes. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Don't go through a day and not pay attention. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. People get too lukewarm. When you see the seed leaving your hands, you think, okay, I'm going to calm myself down and relax. I'm going to be unaware of every other thing. All I need to do is just sow seed. That's all I need to do. You're not paying attention to other things. Is God grieved at what you're doing at your workplace? Is God grieved at what you're doing in your neighborhood? Pay attention. Is God grieved at what you're doing when you get off of work? What you're doing with your phone? What you're doing with your idle time? Is God grieved? Pay attention. Pay, pay attention. The Bible said, love the Lord with all your heart and all your might and all your strength. That means go into every department of your life and make sure that you're loving on him in that department. Make sure that department is respecting him. Over time, many people, you, 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 you do a hundred things right and then do a thousand things wrong. What is that? How, how does God get the harvest of the hundredfold to somebody like that? You have a hundred fruits that are divine, but you got a, a thousand fruits that's demonic. What's the ratio? And then you can't say, okay, I'm just flesh and blood. How, how do I? No, 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 because there's people achieving They are achieving where you're deceiving. So you're deceiving in the area of relationships, but there's people achieving in area of relationships. You are deceiving in the area of sanctification, but people are achieving sanctification. You are deceiving in the areas of your sex life, but people are achieving in the areas of their sex life. So saints, get open eyes and recognize there are parts of me I have to keep on sowing into God. I cannot let myself be good towards God in seven areas and then three to uh, evil towards God in three areas. It's not fair to him. And saints, I want you to think about this. You wouldn't want somebody to be in a relationship with you and do 10 things that you love and then uh, 90 things that you hate. How will you enjoy them? Because right when you're about to enjoy the things that they have done that you like, now you bombarded with things that they don't like, you don't like. So you tell somebody, hey, I, I like my foot rub. They rub your foot. But then you tell them, I don't want no weed in the house. They smoking weed in the house. You smell weed all over the house. They just did your foot. Now you smell weed. Look, it, you don't even have time to enjoy that they massage your feet because your nostrils is smelling something that you told them that you don't want in the house. Have compassion on the spirit of God while he lives with you. Have compassion on the spirit of God while he lives with you. And give, give him the things that he needs from you. Pay attention. Pay attention.
pay attention. The Bible said, watch and pray. That's all you got to do. Watch and pray. Watch, watch, look around, look, 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 look for God to use you. Volunteer yourself. Speak up, talk up, look up, wake up. Stay, stay up. Stay up, don't go down. Keep on rising because the Bible said that you shall ride on the high places of the earth in Isaiah and you shall eat the heritage of Jacob. That's talking about wealth and riches. You can't do that if you're not riding high. If you get low down and you start falling short and you start being unattentive to the Holy Spirit and what he's saying, how are you going to stay high? Let the relationship that you have with the Holy Ghost be golden. Let it be unusual. Don't have the same testimony as everybody. Oh, you know, I don't do everything right sometimes, but God loves me. I don't do everything right, but he know that I love him. Don't have that testimony that people have. Be uncommon. Be different. Be somebody that's awake. Wake up. Listen. Watch. Learn. Pursue. Subdue. Have dominion. Decree things. Watch. Be silent before the Lord and let him show you ask the lord to show you show me do that do that with the same mouth proceeds cursings let the mouth proceed blessings bless the lord with the mouth bless the lord with your pursuit bless the lord with your communication that's how how you step out of an old season. That's how God changes your life officially. That's how your conditions become luxurious. That's how you live in wealth and riches being in your house because you let God experience you as a good and faithful servant, a son after his love, and you are a pursuer of his will.